Today we're going to take a quick look at the way resources and production work at colonies in Slower Than Light. The settlement detail screen shows some key information about colonies. The population and civil power consumption is on the left. The power consumption is how much of the settlement's energy is being used by the civilian population. To the right we have the resource richness graphs. These show how many resources are available on the planet as we use more and more power to extract them. Towards the left are the amounts of metal, radioactives, and organics we can get with minimal energy usage, and to the right the amount we can get by building more and more powerful extractors tapers off. Below the resource graphs are the list of infrastructure facilities at this settlement. Here we see our base power production, which represents all the energy production Earth has to the present day. We have mines that extract metals, and farms that grow organics in the lowest power bands for those resources. We also have a university providing research points and a shipyard for building our spaceships. Now I'm going to develop some components the same way we did in yesterday's video on research and development. I'll fast forward through this part. We've been running the game for a few months now, and we can see the effect on the settlement screen. Our population has grown, and our civilian power consumption has grown with it. Below it we can see the extra resources of our world. Hundreds of spare gigawatts of power, and tens of millions of tons of metals and organics. Also, we can see now we have the infrastructure to build the new components we've developed. As I did yesterday, I'm going to build the orbital rocket. This time we'll pay attention to how it gets built. Here we can see the shipyard has its new project assigned, and our factories have orders placed for the components. If we run the clock ahead a bit, you can see that the factories are producing the components, and we have their entries appearing on the inventory for the settlement. Because the shipyard is immediately taking them, they show a zero in the inventory. Now let's fast forward again to the ship's completion. We can see on the settlement screen that all the factories in the shipyard now have no orders or projects. We can also see that the ship has been added to our fleet inventory. This has been a quick overview of how resourcing and production works in Slower Than Light. Thank you for watching this video. For updates on Slower Than Light, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Also be sure to visit our Kickstarter campaign.